playing Tallulah, I wanted it to be authentic and a human being rather than this extravagant personality everybody knows. But that's who she was. So the fine line was to keep it as full as she was, as dramatic and ostentatious, but with reality. So I read immediately, I went to the library, first thing, I'm a book person, and read all I could on all, all the biographies. And then I went to the uh, Paley when I came to New York, the Paley um, Center for Media. There are 46 entries of Tallulah Bankhead, most of them visual, but some audio. And then also, my really, the keys to the cake for me was to have the actual tape, 45 minutes of her looping session. Ah. She was recording, she, and she was talking to the crew, yelling at the director. Um, calling for something, please hand me my bag, I need my lipstick, does anybody have a light for my cigarette? So it was her in life, so I didn't have to just depend on the performance, it was like the Lucy Hour. I had this wonderful resource that the playwright gave to me, and boy, and I, I listened to it every night before I went on stage, um, and that's in all four venues. Broadway was the fourth place that we had played this uh, funny show, uh, and I think uh, to hearing Tallulah every, all that time, help me ground it, keep it, and maybe it got to be a talisman rather than, I had the voice, it's like a Dumbo when he was flying and the little mouse says, you don't need the feather Dumbo. <laughs> I maybe don't need it, but it, it always was part of my preparation as I was putting on my makeup and wig and getting ready for her. I can't say that I experienced any trouble with Rhoda Morgenstern because she was a character. I'm not from the Bronx, or, nor am I Jewish or a New Yorker. I mean, I lived here some of my life. But um, Rhoda was such a specific person that when I did other things, I made sure they weren't like Rhoda. Uh, the, the other element is that uh, you... I don't think people need to be typecast. I mean, if you do all kinds of different characters, um, and I always sought things that weren't like them. And maybe it has hurt me on the other side, that's the other element, where somebody said, oh, I'm not, we won't see her, she's too Rhoda. Uh, maybe that happened. But I've worked steadily, so I don't think it has been too extensive. Of, and it's really been the wind in the sails of my career.